Example problem five reads, a liter of gasoline, 0 0.75 kilograms, contains around 32.0 times 10 to the six joules of chemical energy. This energy can be obtained by allowing chemical changes in the gasoline to proceed, for example, burning it. How much energy would be obtained if the mass of the gasoline could be converted directly into energy? So we're being asked for the variable E, energy, and units of joules. So we know we're going to use the equation E equals mc squared, where m is the mass in units of kilograms. We have that here. So m equals 0 0.75 kilograms. And c is the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this problem looks substantially more difficult than what it actually is. At this point, we have everything that we need to solve for E. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our variables. M is 0 0.75 kilograms. And C is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second squared. Don't forget to square the speed of light. So if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that E equals 6.75 times 10 to the 16 joules. And so that's the energy that you would have if you can convert all of the mass directly into energy. But we know that's not what actually happens because what actually happens is that in the problem, it tells you you get 32 times 10 to the 6 joules of energy. So you would get substantially more if the chemical process allowed all of it to be converted into energy. Let me know if you have any questions about example problem 5.